Hello everyone, this is Mr. Galvan, and I'm doing a video here on using Google Chrome, downloading extensions, and specifically focused on using the uh, Google Chrome extension Screencastify. Now, if you're not familiar with Screencastify, uh, definitely you're in for a treat. It is a fantastic resource, uh, something that will allow you to create awesome uh, videos with um, screencasts and also potentially videos with just you um, with the webcam um, if you're needing to give a, a little video and demonstrate something uh, with a screencast or if you want to demonstrate something uh, like physically maybe you've got a book with you or some papers or you're kind of showing uh, drawings or different things Whatever, I mean, Screencastify is fantastic when it comes to uh, making different types of videos. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to navigate to the area where you would download this, uh, this extension. And then from there, use the extension, uh, use the Screencastify extension and, uh, you know, really harness it so that it could unlock some uh, potential to share information with uh, students or colleagues alike. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so how did I get here? So if you want, we can just open up a new uh, new tab here. I'm just going to type in this, chrome.google.com. When we do that, it takes us to a um, basic Google, Google Chrome uh, page where we have three key tabs here at the top. We've got features, extensions, enterprise. Notice you have a couple of buttons where you can download Chrome. Obviously, we don't need to do that since we're using Chrome right now. So we can just ignore those. Um, the one we're going to focus on right now is extension. So I'm going to click on this one here. When we do, we go into the Chrome Web Store. So um, the Chrome Web Store has all kinds of add-ons, all kinds of extensions that you can use for Chrome. When we think about extensions, think about it like this. They are added tools or uh, bonus features that you can add on to your Chrome experience. And the tools can be, you know, remarkably simple yet effective. Um, Screencastify adds uh, a little bit more to uh, your, your browser experience because it gives you a means to record videos, provided that you have a webcam and a microphone, of course. But there's all kinds of different ones to choose from, you know, from games to you know, whatever. Um, I actually have an ad blocker running here that I like to use personally. So let's go ahead and type a search here for the extension that we're going to be talking about today, and that is Screencastify. I'm going to type it in Screencastify. Okay, and this is what we get. So, not familiar with Edit This Cookie, it looks interesting. Um, not sure why this is here, uh, because I actually already have Screencastify downloaded. Um, it's already a part of my, my Chrome. Um, I know for sure it is because, take a look up here. This is the icon for Screencastify. It looks like this. It's got a little red button here, uh, or a little red dot, I should say, because it's actually currently in video recording mode. Uh, notice it gives me the option to rate it, again, because I've already downloaded it. Uh, they're welcoming me to uh, give it a little bit of a rating to see how effective the product is. And I would definitely give it the five stars because it is extremely effective. Now, I want to uh, take note, or I want you guys to take note, uh, there is a free version of Screencastify, uh, but it only allows you to make a certain number of uh, video recordings with a certain number of time um, over a certain period of time. Additionally, you have to work with a couple of different just minor limitations. Uh, you wouldn't be able to uh, make certain edits within the uh, Screencastify um, extension application. Uh, of course, I mean, you could upload the video to YouTube and just edit the video there with uh, YouTube's uh, editing software. But um, the premium version isn't all that expensive, and it does unlock uh, a unlimited recording, you know, make as many recordings as you want and your, your goal. And it's uh, about $29 for uh, one year. So I went ahead and did it just because it helped me. So 
uh, let's go ahead and talk about how the recording works. Like what, what happens? How, how do you make a recording using this uh, program? So basically, first things first, you would click here on the little icon, okay? I'm gonna... What you would see would be a little bit different. Well, first off, it would ask you to log in, and you can just log in with your uh, Google account. Once you're logged in, you wouldn't see this. This is showing because I'm currently recording a screencast. Notice your desktop is being recorded. We have the time. I can stop it, or I can pause it, and I can stop the recording at any time. Clicking this button ceases the recording, cuts it off, and it's done. The video is created, and from there, you have the choice, the power to do whatever you want to do with it at that point, uh, including delete. Um, if you, if I was not in the middle of a recording session, actually the uh, little pop-up you would see would be this. I went ahead and made a little snip of it. So imagine that I clicked on this button and this appeared instead. Okay, and this is again assuming that you've already logged into Screencastify using your uh, Google account. Uh, you have the options. Notice I have the Screencastify Premium account because I went ahead and I paid for the year-long subscription. I can I can do the uh, browser tab, desktop, or simply a webcam. It, it really kind of just depends on how I wanted to do it. I could also embed a webcam. So if I have desktop and I wanted to embed a webcam, it would create a little box here in the corner of me, like my physical appearance uh, on a webcam, that like you could see me talking while the rest of the screen shows the, the desktop. Or if you just want you to be front and center, you could do the webcam. It's really up to you, okay? Uh, you have a little settings wheel, you can show a few more options, and you can kind of play with it. But that's what you would be seeing if you had not yet started the recording. Obviously, you press this, record to begin the recording session. My recording session is currently in progress. We're seven minutes in. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about, let's say you've finished the recording. Maybe you've uh, given a little uh, lesson over uh, something that you want to share with your book club members. Fantastic. So you finish the video. It's all set. Where is the video now? Like, like where is it stored? Like, how do I access it? How do I play with it? What do I do? The answer is you go to your drive. Go to your Google Drive. Um, easy way for you to get there, you can just type in drive.google.com. And it'll take you there. I had mine opened up, but I just wanted to show you for the sake of so personal, go to Google Drive. Oh, and it's having me log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Password, which you cannot see. <laughs> and uh, we have our drive opened up right here. And this is my uh, BISD account. So um, you know you log in with your uh, school systems account as you see fit. So now that we're in Drive, we get to see some of our uh, recent um, files and work. We see our folders, and we see everything. Um, the place where your screencasts from Screencastify are stored is a special folder that is created automatically for you once you do your first recording. And that is this right here. I'm going to circle it. Screencastify. A folder is created for you uh, as soon as you are, as soon as you make your first video recording, you have a folder that you can access that stores all of your various screencast videos. I'm going to go into it. So that we can take a look real quick. And notice there's a bunch of videos of me teaching stuff, you know, various different things. Um, it's, it's really convenient to have all of these videos stored in one place. Um, and it's really especially convenient that they're stored in the Google Drive like this because from the drive, 
I can go ahead and just pop them in seamlessly into my Google Classroom page for the book club and my Google Sites for the book club, uh, both of which we can actually play with right now, as a matter of fact. So let's say we have um, let's say we have this at the the sites. So I'm going to go into the drive. And let's say we're talking about our sample book club site. Now, if you looked at the earlier video uh, where I was talking about how to create a Google site, you'll know that I created a sample book club site. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. We'll let the sites appear. It's taking just a minute. My internet is not as sharp as it was earlier today. Here we go. All right, so our sample book club sites. Scroll down, see some of the things that we had there. Got a survey. Remember we embedded the survey. And I've got a video. But I'm going to go ahead and junk it because I want to demonstrate how we put it in there. Okay? so. Um, so how do we embed things? We talked a little bit about it when we were talking about the Google site in my previous video. We talked about embedding forms, calendars, uh, a Google Doc, but the same goes for, for videos. And it's really just basically, it's got to be the easiest thing ever. I really like how Google makes their sites so seamless with uh, using the Google Drive. Because if you want to insert a video that you have stored in your Google Drive, all you need to do is, well, you can do one of two things, okay? You can click on From Drive, and a little mini version of your Google Drive pops up here. So you have your folders. We have our Screencastify folder. Scroll down, and this is the video that we want. So we're going to pop it in here. And there it is. Uh, same thing goes if we wanted to add a layout. We can just click on like something like this. Layout is here. Click on the plus sign. And again, here we go. From Drive. Click on that. Same thing. Mini version of the Google Drive forms here. We go into our Screencastify folder. And we look for the video that we want to put in there. OK? And that's pretty much it. Uh, just, of course, make sure that whenever you're ready to go, that you publish. And that is that. Additionally, whenever you want to, let's say, okay, maybe you don't want to share the video on the site directly, but you want to share it via Google Classroom. So we would open up our new tab. Or, I mean, actually, I would just go back to the drive, if anything. Go to the little dots at the top. Click. Classroom. Google Classroom opens up. Remember, we're already logged in, so no need to re-log in. We have my various classes. Now, I had a video earlier where I showed you guys how to create a class. And if you saw that video, you'll know that I created a class called Sample Book Class. So I'm going to go ahead and click and go into it. Now, if I want to share a video with this class, and actually I did earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again just for demonstration purposes. I can click here, and you have the little Drive button. Click on that. Mini version of the Drive appears here. We can look at our recent things. We can click on My Drive, and we can see the folders. Go to Screencastify and click on the video that we want to share. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. The reason I want to click on this one is because in this video, I talk about how to post to Google Classroom. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to share a little message. Hey, guys, watch this video for um, instruction on how to Post on Google Plus. Simple as that.
that. We click post. Make sure that it's for the book club and it's for all the students. And it's done right there. Additionally, if we're going to be doing an assignment, let's say we've made an assignment and I have an assignment here, make a discussion post. Um, I actually, I created it earlier and I added the video to it. Uh, just to demonstrate though, I'm going to do it again. Create assignments. Title it, create a discussion post. Make three discussion posts to the whole class of three. Again, you have the Google Drive icon. You click on that. You look for my drive. I mean, you could do recent because we just worked with video. So we do in my drive, double click on Screencastify, look for the video we want to share. In this case, it's this one. This is the one where I talk about how to post to Google Classroom. And we assign. And there it is. I mean, it's they're both the same thing. But um, like I said, I just wanted to show you for the purposes of demonstrating how to do it. Uh, the only thing I'll say now, and I really want to emphasize this because uh, this is something that frustrated me when I had created my site and I had created my classroom page and I had shared my video and I put my video out there and it wasn't working. It was blank. It said something about needing permission. So I was thinking, what in the world? So I went back. This is something you must do if you have videos that you created with Screencastify. So go into your folder and let's look at an individual video. Uh, let's say we're looking at, um, well, let's say we're looking at this video, the one that we were just uh, sharing a second ago. Okay. Now, remember we have these little icons here. They mean different things. This guy is the one that talks about the uh, sharing or how to share. Click on him. And we go into our sharing options. So right now I have it set that anyone at BISD with the link can view. You can look at multiple options. I can actually click here so that anyone with the link or it's public on the web, either way, that anybody can view it. Now, this is useful for your Google site because you might have kids logging in from home and trying to get on your site and they would have to log in every single time they wanted to view a video. And that can be kind of frustrating after a while. I mean, if you have your video here, it's fairly, you know, informative. It's, uh, it's something that they want to be able to readily access. They don't want to have to go through a lot of hassle. And you want to post it on your site anyway, and it's, you know, open for the public to look at. No big deal. You know, you could do either one of these things. Uh, really, because when you post something on a Google site, uh, it's basically a matter of the site having the link. Um, or you could just do this one. It's really... It really makes no difference at this point, but one or the other is fine. So we click on that. Anyone with the link can view it. Done. And at this point, your, your video should be good to go. We go back to the Google Sites. And sorry guys, it's just taking forever to load up here. I don't know why. So my internet is super slow today. But I had this one open earlier. I don't know why I clicked on that other one. So we have this video. Oh, actually it was a different video. Um, but the really the idea is still the same. Whenever you work with your screencasts and you're in your drive and they're here. You have to make sure that you look at the permissions that are set with each of these videos. If the permission is super restricted and you post it to your Google site, nobody's going to be able to see it. So how did I do it? Let's talk about how we did it one more time. I click on the video. I click on the little guy with the plus sign. I see that link sharing is on, but it's anyone at BISD can view it. So if we want to make sure that it's viewable by anybody like always we can click we can click on more 
and we can just click on anyone with the link can view it. And that will enable it to be viewed by whoever uh, goes to the website. Okay, so it's very important that you set your permissions correctly whenever you are doing your screencasts, okay? So let's review. Screencastify. We found it on the Chrome store. We searched, we downloaded. Maybe click here. When you're about to record, the thing that you would be looking at is this. We start the recording by pressing the record button. Okay. You make your video, you finish your video, you stop. You go to your Google Drive. And I'm just going to go to the drive. We look for the special folder that is automatically created for us for our screencasts with Screencastify. In this case, this guy right here. Click on it. And we have all of our various videos, all of our various screencasts. They can all be uploaded and put in seamlessly onto your Google site and onto your Google Classroom page. If you need to set permissions and make sure that uh, they are able to be viewed on your Google site or your Google Classroom page, make sure that you click on the video, click on the little man with the plus sign. You take a look at this, you click here. You click on more so you can see more features and you set the permission that you need to set okay in this case anyone with the link is more than adequate you can go ahead and click on this one and that should be fine you should be able to uh, post it without any problems on your google site and your google classroom page okay that is it that's screencastify i hope that this will address um, any issues you might have moving forward when trying to use this extension um, and I hope that you guys are excited about this, as excited about this as I am, because it is a great tool, great resource for the kids, and an easy way to share information and really do, you know, some step-by-step -step walkthroughs, tutorials, uh, informative videos for the kids or for your colleagues. Okay, thank you for watching, and I uh, really appreciate their tools, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.